Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Boone, or should I say, yeah, Ellen the generous, generous, freezing cold in a brand new video, man. Ever since I got my haircut, um, my neck and my ears are going through hell. So I'm sorry for the hood and everything, but we gotta discuss this droplets. We're not talking about my inner body temperature. I know that's why y'all clicked on this video, but uh, yeah, we have a full droplets to go over. It's actually a huge drop. What? Like I wasn't expecting much alongside TNF, but Supreme decided to drop half the good shit left on this week so you probably came here to find out what's gonna flip i'm gonna help you with that just drop a like that's that's all i ask for um i still don't even know what my cart's gonna be tomorrow but it is gonna be a good one folks i've already seen so many different items i want to pick up from this release so hey we're gonna see if i can do it drop a sub want to see that live cop and let's just hop in this video i hope you guys do enjoy this one let me know what you're going for in the comments as always it's a wednesday video so i gotta go kind of quick i'm sorry if there's not a bunch of edits on this one but but we're here for this money talk, baby. Let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So as always, if you guys want my full in-depth analysis of the week, you gotta come pull up on us at Browser. I also have a bunch of Christmas giveaways coming up, so it's a good time to join the group. As always, you can also get help with consoles, sneakers, all that great stuff. And I always have to remind y'all, if you wanna also join my free Discord, there will be an invite link up right when this video goes live. So go to my Instagram, just hit my story, join the Discord, let's get into it. Starting it off, we have a crazy one. This is accessory I think everyone is waiting for this season we have the supreme mg 100th scale I don't know how to actually read this title uh, Gundam uh, I have to quickly say man this is one of those words I had never actually read out loud before so in my initial lookbook reaction I called it Gundam so y'all can laugh at me I'll give y'all that I don't know it's one of those words you know where like you have to actually say it in person once and you don't actually know how to say it correctly so yeah I got caught slipping but this is a pretty sick one pretty popular Japanese toy figure I've seen Gundam stuff just like more and more it seems like it's getting trendy or something I don't know I actually it's hard for me to say like how well this is gonna actually flip it is a kit you actually have to set up yourself and we all know that hype beast boys are the laziest people on earth so that might actually hurt this one a bit but at the end of the day it is such a cool collectible um, it will help it out a ton if it's more limited we don't know how limited it's gonna be but I would guess it probably sells around 150 160 or so it might end up kind of tanking a bit if there's high first day resale on this I would definitely be selling it when it comes to actually holding this though I have no idea if it's gonna actually age well or not um, like I said I don't see a bunch of people setting it up which might make it a harder long-term hold I would honestly look to flip it pretty quick I have a feeling collectors are gonna be going crazy if they took an L you might even have to single card it like I really do not know just how crazy hype this is gonna be but I do know people have been talking about it all season so definitely a good market for it and probably one of the better items of the week you'll likely also see me going for one next Next up, we have the Snowman Snow Globe. This is a cute one, man. I'm actually so excited they're doing this. Um, I took an L on the Christmas Star. Well, I didn't really even have time to go for it, but I definitely want to go secure this one. Uh, this Snowman design, one of my favorites of this season. That pin, bro. Oh. I was telling y'all, the hoodie actually had some potential. It has ended up exploding, so um, I don't think this one's going to do anything too crazy. 48 for a Snow Globe is pretty expensive. And at the end of the day, a lot of these Christmas items really do fall off in their recent sell price over time it's kind of just an item you're gonna have to buy for the personal it is a good first day flip as like you saw the Christmas stars their first day numbers were ridiculous but they all come back down to earth both of these first two accessories really good first day flips but not really like holds or anything uh, moving on <sighs> This drawer container set that just like, ladies, I know there's only like three or four of you that watch my videos, but if you ever walk into a guy's house and he has this, just leave. Like just walk out the fucking door. Don't even bother grabbing your stuff. Just get out of there as quick as you can. Cause this is just like, what are we doing, bro? This is the goofiest accessory maybe of the season. Are you sure about that? 658 for just some really ugly container. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm a hater. Uh, hell no, it's not gonna resell. I just, I hate this accessory, man. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have another item I just truly hate. We have these New Era balaclavas that, for whatever reason, are $68, man. I'm pretty sure the last balaclavas Supreme did, they were super similar to this, were like half the price. So um, that's wonderful. The red box logos are really obnoxious. I would only say the black color for this one. At 68, it's kind of a skip for me. That's pretty outrageous, I think. There's just better stuff this week, but the black of all of them has like somewhat of a change. Uh, 
um, but I'll be skipping those. Next up, we got both of the Polar Tech items. Now, we see these every season. I usually sleep on them, but I have to say the retail is pretty nice. Um, they do have box logos, which are gonna help a lot. If I had to pick between the two, I would definitely go with the hoodie. Um, and colors, just olive, black, and natural. I think the olive and natural might be the best performing. If you look at the past performance of these Polar Tech hoodies, uh, usually the natural does pretty well. Olives are really in color also. So those two colors, I do think will have some profit. You might have to hold it for like a month or two, but definitely try to sell before spring, summer's over and get any size but medium. I actually think there is some potential on these though, just because of how cheap the retail is. I don't know if I'm gonna get one though, but like if you can get an XL one of these hoodies, man, that's definitely a good cook this week. Moving on, we finally have the first TNF item and oh man, 308, I was really hoping this would be 278, 288, 308. Not too wonderful, man. I'm pretty bummed about that. I still think these are probably the best cook of this whole TNF release. I actually love the black version. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, you know what, this actually might be the best TNF item of everything. I will say, if you're going for the TNF stuff and want just profit, I'd probably go for the fleeces. Any size but medium. Um, they probably actually will have some pretty good first day profit. TNF stuff always does come down as orders arrive, but these should be some of the best holds of this whole collab. They're like 130 bucks cheaper than the Nupsy probably hold pretty similar so I would definitely be targeting the fleeces. XL is going to be a cook for these. I might even go for one of my first cart. However, I do think most people should probably skip this. There is a lot of really good profit this week and you don't need to spend $300 to get that profit. I think the black's the best version of this um, but I don't think you could go wrong with either color. The fact there's only two colors will help these out but yeah, I don't know. Should I go for one of these fleeces, man? I feel like it'd be lame if I didn't get a TNF item. So we'll see. Uh, just let me know in the comments you think I should. Polar Tech pants, these are gonna be a skip. Um, next up, we have the Nupsies. Like I was saying to y'all, I think the fleeces are the move. They're way cheaper. They're probably gonna have very similar profit margins. If you do go for the Nupsy, definitely go the blue color. The black, I really don't like on these. Um, XL Nupsies, like definitely a cook. Definitely the best size without question. I think most people should skip these. Um, I don't know, TNF Nupsies just are not hitting as much as they were before. At least the studded ones, those have me a little worried with Nupsies right now. To be fair though, I think the blue color of these are a lot better than the studded ones, but I'm probably gonna skip on these. I think there's better items this week. And moving on, man, who would have thought I'd be peeking over an $8 pin this week? I mean, if y'all know me, I'm pin collector Boone. I mean, y'all wouldn't know that because I never do pin collection videos, but hey, just wait till the off season. A lot of collection videos I'm gonna be doing for y'all, but this snowman pin is an essential um, black color. I need it. I need one of these so bad. I think most of you should be throwing one of these in your cart. It's an easy $20, $25 sale if you pick one up. Obviously, that's nothing glamorous, but for an $8 item, it's not bad. I think everyone in their second cart should definitely grab one of these pins. They're so sick, man. I wish this was on like a t-shirt. Um, like I've been saying, I love these snowman designs. Moving on, the raisin embroidery hooded sweatshirt. No. No, no, there's better stuff this week. Uh, we got the parka. I'm gonna just say this, man. If you're still buying Supreme TNF parkas, why? Like, just why, bro? Because they do not perform well. If you want one for the personal, deadass, just wait till the drop is over and you'll probably find one on the aftermarket for cheaper than retail. Except maybe XL. Y'all already know XL is the move always, but um, the parkas are very skippable. I would not bother. Definitely the fleece or Nupsy over these. Are they actually like $10 cheaper than the Nupsy? That's just like so ridiculous to me. $300 sleeping bags. I'm not even gonna speak on that. Uh, next up, the ambassador hat. And you guys, there's reasons you watch these videos and this hat is one of those reasons because this is probably my sleeper of the week. Um, we all know these Yushanka type items are very popular right now. The last one Supreme did, did numbers. And it was like $50 more than these. Uh, 58 is a crazy good retail, black color don't sleep. These actually might sell out a little quicker than I even expect. You're gonna have to go pretty fast for this one. It's multi-cartable, but definitely don't sleep, man. Black color on this. I think you could even get double retail for it. Um, I'll definitely be targeting this. I really want one. 58 is just such a good retail. Definitely try to get the black. Blue is the second favorite. Just try to sell it before winter is over. Next up, we have the backpacks at 158, man. Not a bad retail. 
for a very clean style bag. I would definitely be going for the blue on this if you pick one up. It is multi-cartable, uh, but TNF backpacks are always one of the more reliable items from these collabs. I love getting them. I'll probably grab one if these end up sitting and I like, I don't know, maybe I'd take an L on a more expensive item. Like I said, I still don't know my game plan, but I would definitely be happy to walk away from this drop with a backpack in the blue color. Like a backpack and an ambassador hat, that's a solid card. You are gonna have to hold on to them. They're not immediate profit items, but these will definitely be at like 200 plus by next season. Uh, next up, we have the waste bags. I just, I don't touch the waste bags anymore with these collabs, man. They're too bulky. Um, and I don't know, I feel like waste bags are just not in style like that anymore. And you can kind of say the same about the shoulder bags. Um, definitely not as popular a style as it was a couple seasons ago. However, these North Face bags actually do kind of decent. Um, blue color for this for sure, I think is a decent pick. Up. You are gonna have to hold it similar to the backpack, but it is a lot cheaper than the backpack It probably will get you similar profit numbers like this will probably go for double retail in a few months I might even go for one in my second cart if they're still sitting don't expect anything first day But not a bad scoop here uh, polar tech pocket scarves. Those are gonna be a skip the mountain pants 318 no, bro. Hell no uh, next up the down scarf there's so much junk in this collab nobody needed like the down scar sleeping bag even this trooper hat man i don't think any of it was like necessary none of it's gonna really sell out like that maybe this trooper hat does but for a hundred bucks man not worth it it's just like get that yushanka it's so much sicker than this um so yeah these are all skips for me if you're going for this collab i would really only target like the bags as well as the fleece and maybe even this hat, which is the next item we got to talk about. Um, Supreme TNF hats never seem to fail. It is a hold item, just like a majority of this collab is. These will probably get up to like 80, 90 bucks within a couple of months. I will say it's really hard to pick which colors the move for these. I'd probably go with the blue one. Um, you're not gonna see any crazy right away profit or anything. Kind of similar to like the shoulder bag or something this week. Nothing too glamorous, but if you're trying to do like a big multi-cart, something like this hat, the shoulder bag, the backpack, ambassador hat, like that's a really good cart this week if you're able to hold stuff. You might even see me grabbing one of these. It really depends, man. Like I have to kind of come up with my game plan a bit more. This is just such a big week and there's so many items dropping. It's hard for me to like prioritize, but moving on, banner beanie. Only the light blue, man. The light blue is the only one I can co-sign on this. Um, maybe like the black, but I think the light blue is actually kind of sick. 38, I'm almost even tempted to go get one, man. Like I've said so many items this week are good multi-cart items. And I mean, there are. You're definitely gonna have to prioritize. You can't multi-cart like six items. So uh, if it's really late in the drop and I'm looking for something, this light blue banner beanie is not a bad one. Probably sell it for 55 or so. That's like, I don't know, 10, 15 profit, nothing crazy. And finally, to end the week, we got the raised embroidery no one cares I just I don't like this design so I'm sleeping on all of it and we got the raised logo patch beanie which is pretty ugly in my opinion so I know that's kind of a speed run but I wanted to go quick with y'all today um, a really good week I know like there's not crazy profit to be made on one single item there's a lot of potential hold items this week so if you're able to do that it's a good drop for you but I hope that helped y'all out again if you want more in-depth resale analysis where I give just more specific numbers going over all these items go join us on browser we also got y'all on any monitors, console, like whatever you need, man. We're cooking it. And yeah, go hit me up on my Instagram and join my free discords. Be boy boon. I'll see you for the live cop tomorrow. I still have no idea what I'm a cop. Maybe a fleece. Definitely a snowman pin. That's the one thing I can promise you. And I will feel pretty shitty if I don't get an ambassador beanie. So yes, yeah, been your boy boon. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm cold as fuck. I'm out. Peace.